explain autism to kids, the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out what are the students' developmental needs and what kind of audience are you talking to? Is this for a family? Is this for a classroom? That's going to help you discover how you want to tweak this conversation a little bit. But here are some general techniques that you can use for many of these conversations. First, you're going to want to emphasize that diversity in the world is beautiful. Most people understand that if everybody was the same, life would be pretty boring. People have all sorts of different needs and autism is just one way that diversity expresses itself in the world. Of course, autistic people, just like everyone else, have different things that are gonna be challenging and maybe certain things that will be easier, but that's part of the beauty of diversity and that's true for all people. Another thing you're going to wanna talk about is that the word autism is really just a general term that describes a group of people. It never describes an individual person. So while autistic people share many common traits and similarities, they're also going to have lots of differences. And just because they are diagnosed with autism, it doesn't mean that you understand any individual. You're going to want to, just like in any case with any person, make sure that you get to know that individual, their strengths, their needs, their likes, their dislikes, so that you can really have a great connection and friendship with that person. Perhaps most importantly, you should include an autistic person in this discussion when possible. Somebody who experiences autism is going to be your greatest source of information to help kids and anyone else understand their needs and what people need to understand about them. So that's really what you're going to want to do first and foremost, if possible, is have this discussion guided by or included with somebody who has autism. Mm -hmm.